there's Ralphie. And here come the Colorado Buffaloes as they welcome number 25, Washington, to town. On first down, Woods, a quick pass. And that is complete, but for a loss. And off to Powell. And Powell will get a couple of yards, tackled by Josh Shirley, third and nine. Wood back to pass. Stepping up, pressure, he slips and falls. He'll go down. Looks like the sack will be credited to Andrew Hudson, a loss of five. Facing third and 25, empty backfield. Price drops it off to Cason Williams. And Williams will come about two yards shy of the original line of scrimmage, a pickup of 14. Connor Wood under center, Christian Powell. And Powell takes the handoff. Gets stuck at the line, maybe picks up a yard. Third down and five here for the Buffaloes. Wood setting up the screen pass. It is complete to Abram. And he gets crunched. Handoff up the middle to Sankey. And Sankey gets met right about that 15-yard marker by Derek Webb. Play action. Wood taking the shot for Casa. And that is incomplete. Marcus Peters was covering the big tight end. Christian Powell back in. Again, play action. Wood in trouble, just throws it up in the air, and that's intercepted. Shaq Thompson. If you get pressure, you throw the football away, but the pressure's coming from 22. Josh Shirley, and there you see the ball just kind of flutter in space, and when it's thrown up like that, the defense has a great chance of picking it off. First down, handoff to Sankey. Sankey cuts it back. Good move as he breaks the tackle of Ray Polk, and he gets the first first down for the Huskies, a 14-yard run. Sankey already with 28 yards, the 1,000-yard rusher on the season. The pass to Cody Bruns, and Bruns, he's got a first down, gets thrown out of bounds, and a late hit could be called here against Polk. They do. Brown trying to get to the outside, lowers his shoulder. As he got hit by Travis Feeney. It's Powell again, and Powell this time will get stuffed. Again, it's Travis Feeney. Well, what do you know but fourth and one, and right now Colorado's going to go for it. I think they have nothing to lose by going for it right now, and the runs that they've had, the running back that they have, back there in Powell, that big power runner, I think you give him a shot. It is to Powell, and Powell trying with that second effort. And he's not going to get there. Came in for the tackle. And off to Sankey. Cuts it back. Spin move. Nice play. And Sankey will be very close to that first down marker. Thanks to the quarter change. Play action. Rolling out his price. Comes back to your side to Sankey. And Sankey able to jump over a tackler for first down. This year. And you think that they would be able to continue that here today. And off to Sankey, and Sankey, for that second effort, stays in bounds. Powell on the carry, and he gets tripped up by Justin Galation. Because a tight end, you have to catch the football. Dante Abron trying to cut it back, nowhere to cut it back to, as Sean Parker was right there. Wood trying to go deep down the side, and that is picked off. Sean Parker with the interception. These teams exchanging turnovers here in the second quarter. Second and 23. Price rolling out to the right. Throws to Austin Safarian Jenkins. And Jenkins gets hit hard by Brady Day. A pickup of 17 yards. Play clock is down to three. Quarterback sneak and Jordan Webb got hit hard. Third down and eight. Webb over the middle to a tight end. Hobbs incomplete. Almost like a whole new team. Price on second and 19 going down the sideline with Casey Williams. And Williams has the first down. We'll see who that player is going to be today. Third and seven. Price passes to DeAndre Campbell. And Campbell, let's see where they spot this. Price will hand off to Sankey, who has the first down. Price, with some time, dumps it off to Sankey in the open field. And 
Sankey got hit by Derek Webb and Chadera Uzo Deribe. A 12 yard pickup. Another first down here for Washington. Price completes the pass to Campbell. Another first down for the Huskies. First and goal coming up. Play action. Price with a lot pass. Runs to the end zone. Touchdown. And I like the call by Sarkeesian. Make it sound like, make it look like you're going to run that football. Play action pass. Make guys cover guys. And that didn't happen there. Cody Bruns comes in for the touchdown, makes a nice catch. He was really wide open. Travis Keynes now on for the extra point. And the extra point is good. Webb stepping up and trying to get rid of it as he gets sacked down at the 34-yard line. Josh Shirley and Andrew Hudson there for the sack. Well, Jordan Webb had initially some time. But that pocket closed quick, and he took his eyes off the reeds. His eyes came off the defenders, off his receivers. And off up the middle to Sankey. And Sankey gets ripped down by John Major. A seven-yard run for Sankey, who's up to 77 yards here in the first half. It looks like they're pretty satisfied right here of going in 7-0. It's Sankey again, and Sankey has the first down. Coons gets the punt off. And this is going to be brought back inbounds. Ball is still loose. And it looks like Washington has recovered. So they have to figure out, was Kevin Smith inbounds or out of bounds? I think he's in bounds. It didn't look like his foot came down. I think he was in the air. Again, it hits off Spruce. Then Kevin Smith alertly hustling to it. I think it's a great play. It's a very instinctive, smart play by Smith. We were just talking about basketball. With Austin Safarian Jenkins, that's one of those you see in basketball. Price looking to pass. As Sankey open goes over the middle to Bruns, completes it for the first down. Up to the 18-yard line, a 16-yard completion. The defender off by looking out to Sankey, which opened up Bruns. He did. Price taking a shot to the end zone. Touchdown, Cason Williams. You see him right here. He's looking to the right side of the defense. And then at the last second, he comes back to the left to find Kaysen Williams in the end zone. Travis Coons on for the extra point. 14-0 Washington as they take advantage of the turnover. You wonder if that's one of those letdown games, those trap games for South Carolina. In some trouble, Webb staying alive. Looking near side to McCullough, gets rid of it, incomplete. The pressure applied by Shaq Thompson. Third down conversion on third and 10, a fumble. Recovered by the Huskies. Austin Safarian Jenkins on the recovery playing defense. Josh Shirley, he forces the fumble. Up front, he gets a little spin move going. And a great forced fumble by Josh Shirley. And then Austin Safarian Jenkins comes in, and you know he's not going to bobble that ball. He's got great hands, and he's going to pick that one up. Fourth turnover of the game for Colorado. Keeping it as Price comes near side to Kendall Taylor. Taylor makes a guy miss. Taylor to the end zone. Touchdown. Now look in the slot right here. That's Kaysen Williams, the receiver. Not only can he make big plays in the air, but he helps out his teammates right there in the blocking game. It's a small one, but that's all he needed to really spring Taylor for the touchdown. And that was the first career touchdown for Kendall Taylor. Travis Coons on for the extra point. 21 to nothing. 
More points off of turnovers for the Huskies. And off to Powell again, gets wrapped up right away. Well, to McCullough, and McCullough can't pull it in. Marcus Peters with a good defensive play. Webb facing some pressure, and Webb just throws it out of bounds as he was chased down by Josh Shirley. Play action, Price with some time steps up. Throws on the run to Cason Williams. And Williams gets forced out of bounds right around midfield. Now with the lighter helmet, your neck may not be as strong, and that's why we're seeing uh, maybe more concussions out there today. Kendall Taylor gets hit by Ray Polk, but not before a 15-yard run. Talking to him, he really liked the idea of thinking that maybe that's taking away from strength in your neck. Jadon Mickens on the end around. Another nice spin move to get away from Polk. A 20-yard run by Jadon Mickens, another true freshman here for the Huskies. Well, Price really heads up play here. Little dangerous of what he's doing because you can fumble the ball when you're extended if a defender hits your elbow. But nice job of knowing where his running back Sankey was in the progression to get him that football and to keep this play alive. A 25-yard field goal attempt here for Coons. He missed from 31 earlier. And he doesn't miss this time. 24 to 3, Washington leading Colorado here in the third. Pressure coming. Webb stays on his feet, gets the outside, and he still gets dragged down. Travis Feeney able to bring him down for a loss of one. Well, and you got to know that blitz is coming. Freeney right there just got in his face, missed the initial tackle, then was able to come back and grab him, putting up points on the board now. And executing offensively in the running game, in the passing game, not having the penalties that they've had. So that's what's created this success here in the second half. Josh Shirley, another sack as he takes down Jordan Webb. Sankey again. Sankey's got the first down. Sankey again, up the middle. Sankey breaks the tackle. Sankey still on his feet down the sideline. Has Cason Williams blocking for him. And Cason Williams, a nice block, frees up Sankey as he gets tackled at the 14. A 39-yard run by Bishop Sankey. And Jonathan Amosa, the one coming up with a nice block. And then Sankey taking matters into his own hands and breaking tackles. Not only one, but two. And then great blocking again by Cason Williams downfield. He's been great at that all day, getting a touchdown for Taylor, and then almost another touchdown here for Sankey. Sankey now 140 yards on the ground today on 20 carries. Empty backfields. They're going to hand off to Taylor. Kendall Taylor keeps those feet moving as he gets tackled by Jeffrey Hall up at the three-yard line. Got to be a different sense of urgency. Price throws it up. Safarian Jenkins, did he get the foot down? Yes, he does. Touchdown. Safarian Jenkins just running out wide open. There is nobody on him. All the linebackers in coverage really bit on the play. And there's some pressure there by Marquise Mosley. The extra point is good. Four touchdown passes on the day for Keith Price. The last one coming here to Austin Safarian Jenkins. 31 to 3, Washington. On first down, the handoff to Taylor. Cuts it back, explodes through the hole. Taylor being chased down from behind as he gets tackled at the 22-yard line. A 44-yard run by Kendall Taylor, Marquise Mosley, and Jeffrey Hall finally bring him down. But well, what's happened is these offensive linemen are blocking perfectly, allowing big holes. And the cutback by Taylor was very impressive. He saw that hole, and he got there very, very fast. Well, we certainly appreciate it. Good luck to you. Thanks for coming on. I appreciate it, man. Good day. On fourth and six, they convert for the touchdown. Jadon Mickens. And that is a new career high for Keith Price with his fifth touchdown pass of the day. And Keith Price, I just. Love the day that he's had. You see him step into his throw and delivered on a frozen rope to his receiver, Jadon Mickens, for the touchdown. 
Travis Coombs on for the extra point. 38 to 3. Anything can happen on any given Saturday, like last week, Texas AM beating Alabama, and all of a sudden, we've got Johnny Football in the Heisman discussion, and we've got a fumble here and a recovery by Washington. With 2.05 to go, Washington leads 38 to 3. Steve Sarkeesian and his Washington Huskies walk away with a 38-3 victory. They move to 7-4 on the season, 5-3 in Pac-12 play.